Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Vijay Tawadhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of plane surfaces. And an example problem is like this. A hexagonal lamina of size 30 mm has one of its corners in VP and its surface is inclined at an angle of 30 degree with VP. The diagonal passing through the corner on which is in VP is inclined at 45 degree to HP. Draw the projections of the lamina. Now, to start with, uh, hexagonal lamina of 30 mm size has to be constructed with respect to corner resting in VP. So, for which one will go to applications, macros, run macro, and select the inside polygon, open. Once the inside polygon is available, go to the flat length. Then the flat length is supposed to be taken as 30 millimeter. Number of sides is 6. Apply relationship. Just click anywhere on the screen so that a hexagon is going to be appeared. Now, hexagon is uh, supposed to be a corner resting. So, select this hexagon and go to a command called as a rotate. Now, I am going to select this edge and I am going to make this edge as a horizontal edge now that it will become a corner resting. Now, corner resting in VP is furnished. Now, this is the required front view. Now, let us draw the top view according to this one. Now, project each and every corner to the XY line to draw the top view. Now, once it is done, make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter. Join the top view in such a fashion that as a split lines, so that these split lines are going to help us to draw the project is in the next stages instead of drawing as a single line. Then make use of a text command and name the corners like A dash and this is going to be the B dash and this is going to be C dash and this is going to be D dash and this is going to be E dash and then this is going to be F dash. Accordingly <coughs> name the top view also. Now this is going to be A and in B, F and then C, E, C, E and then finally D. So this completes the required top and front views. Uh, then make use of a smart dimension command show that the size of the hexagon is 30 millimeter. After which the surface is inclined at 30 degree to VP. Hence one has to select the required top view then go for a command called as move move with respect to the corner a and reposition that corner a on the xy line keeping some appropriate distance then go for a rotate command select a as fixed d as rotating and the angle between these two lines is supposed to be 30 degree and after which one can go to angle between command show that the angle between these two lines are supposed to be 30 degree and after which we need to draw the front view for which one has to go to a line command with a thickness of 0.13 starting with the right extreme corner start drawing the respective projectors now this is going to be connected to d as well as a so we'll project the corner a also then we have c and e now the end point is going to be selected c is going to be at the topmost edge over here so connect C to C along with C we have B also. So one can connect B also to this height and then remaining is F and E. So we'll connect the F and E. Now using the text command name the respective corners as we have projected. Now this is going to be A dash, B dash and this is going to be C dash and accordingly D dash, E dash as well as f dash once these things are furnished that is namings using a line command with the thickness of 0.5 millimeter one has to complete the front view by connecting all the six points now here it should be an intersection and again an end point now this completes the required second stage front and top views after drawing that now the diagonal is inclined at 45 degree to hp this is a true angle but here the length of the diagonal is getting reduced now one can measure the diagonal here is measuring 60 millimeter 
and in the same fashion <coughs> and in the same fashion the diagonal after the inclination to HP that is inclined to VP at an angle of 30 degree for which the length of the line is going to be reduced to 51.96 for which one has to construct an apparent angle. Now for which one has to construct a inclined line whose inclined line is going to be a 45 degree because this is a true angle. Now on the true angle locate a point anywhere for a reference using a point command with a thickness of 2 millimeter one will have a point over here and then make use of arc by center point command with a thickness of 0 0.13 select the center as the, the point as the center the true length has to be represented on the true angle so that one has to construct an arc whose radius is equal to true length that is 60 millimeter and after which using a line command the intersection of this inclined line of 45 degree and an arc one has to construct a locus over that once the locus is constructed make use of arc by center point then select the center point which we have created earlier then the radius of the uh, arc should be 51.96 millimeter and once again we have to draw an arc here now after drawing this arc join the line from the corner join the line from the corner this point to the end point of this arc now using angle between command measure that this angle and an xy line and which is going to be called as angle alpha which is measuring as 55 degree in the present problem now select the front view and then make use of a move command move with respect to the corner a dash and a dash is going to be the point which we have selected and then go for rotate command and a yes is supposed to be there only and d has to be shifted to the end point of the alpha line or the apparent angle line or the apparent arc length now this is what the inclination now after which make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 start with the right extreme corner that is e dash now e dash is connected to e now along with e we have c also so let us draw the projector of c to this line and the next extreme corner is going to be f dash connect f dash to f properly and along with f we have b so we will project the corner b dash to this line now in this condition we can lock the angle as 90 degree to avoid any confusion to draw the vertical projectors then the next extreme corner is d dash so d dash is going to be connected to d properly then one can observe this line is not horizontal so make it as 0 degree it will become horizontal then finally the remaining corner is a dash so a is going to be projected till the xy line where the angle must be locked to 90 degree and projected up to the xy line <coughs> then make use of a text command name the respective corners so this corner is going to be a and this is b and this is going to be c this is going to be d and this is going to be e and this is going to be f then finally using a line command with the thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter starting with a join all the six corners like a to b b to c c to d d to e e to f and the f to a this completes the given conditions of the problems and this is the required solution for the problem now one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects and if anyone is having any sort of doubts please feel free to contact me and also please do subscribe to my youtube channel and also share this video to all your first year engineering students thank you very much for watching my video once again thank you guys